If you have multiple user accounts set up on your computer, it's important to know about a feature called logging off. Now, I've just set up in the previous movie an account for Linda Weinman, and we know I'm signed on as Garrow Green, so I know there's at least two user accounts here. At the bottom, I can choose to log off the system, and when I do that, I get the following screen. There's an important distinction to be made here. You can also see that the background kind of goes to black and white, which is kind of eerie, but kind of cool, I guess. There's two options here, switch user and log off. Important difference between the two. If I were to simply choose switch user, it would take me back to the Windows login screen where I could choose to log in as Linda. It would boot up into Windows, but with using Linda's settings, it might have a different desktop, her files might be arranged differently, she might have different programs installed, all kinds of things would be totally different. But it would freeze my session the way it is. So if I had WordPad open right now, and maybe I was playing an MP3 file, everything would freeze in its current state. It would log me on as Linda. I could go in and mess around doing her settings and using her programs, log off as Linda, or switch back to Garo. And when I returned to my session, my WordPad document would still be open, and my audio file would even be playing still. So that's one important thing to note about switching users. Everything kind of freezes and stays in place until you log back in as that user. Log off, on the other hand, does just the opposite. If I were to log off the system right now, it would close all the open programs, everything would stop, and then it would return me to the Windows screen. And that's useful if you want to get out of the system, you never want to come back, and you want to let somebody else log on, like maybe another a member of the household, maybe a coworker and uh, you don't want to leave your account open because if you leave your account open, that's still using RAM and it's still using resources of the computer, and uh, you may not want to do that. So switching users freezes your account until you come back as that user and logs you off permanently, closes all applications, and takes you back to the welcome screen where you can either re-sign on or sign on as somebody else. So that's the difference between the two and something you should be aware of if you're working in a multi-user environment.